The SQ3R reading method is the best system I have learned that will help you get the most out of your reading. Survey, question, read, recite, and review. Before you read, survey the chapter, the title, headings, and subheadings, captions under pictures, charts, graphs, or maps. Review questions or teacher-made study guides, introductory and concluding paragraphs, and summaries. Write notes on paper in sequence. Then look over the notes to get an overall idea or picture. Question while you are surveying. Turn the title headings and or subheadings into questions. Read questions at the end of the chapters or after each subheading. Ask yourself, what did my instructor say about this chapter when it was assigned? Ask yourself, what do I already know about this subject? Write questions out. Look over the questions to see the emphasis and direction. Then attempt to give plausible answers before further reading. When you begin to read, look for answers to the questions you first raised. Answer questions at the beginning or end of chapters or study guides. Reread captions under pictures, graphs, charts, and maps. Note all the underlined, italicized, bold printed words or phrases. Study graphic aids, slow down your reading speed for difficult passages, and stop and reread parts which are not clear. Read only one section at a time and recite after each section. Write notes in your own words under each question. Recite after you've read a section. Ask yourself questions about what you have just read and or summarize in your own words what you have read. Take notes from the text but write the information in your own words. Underline, highlight important points you have just read. Use the method of recit recitation which best suits your particular learning style, but remember, the more senses you use, the more likely you are to remember what you read. Reviewing is a continuous process. Here is some advice of things you can do over a period of several days. Day 1. After you have read and recited the entire chapter, write questions for those points you have highlighted or underlined in the margins. If your method of re recitation included note taking in the left hand margins of your notebook, write questions for the notes you have taken. Day 2. Page through the text and or your notebook to reacquaint yourself with the important points. Cover the right-hand column of your text, notebook, and orally ask yourself the questions in the left-hand margins. Orally recite or write the answers from memory. Make flashcards for those questions which give you difficulty. Develop mnemonic devices for material which needs to be memorized. Day 3, 4, and 5. Alternate between your flashcards and notes and test yourself both orally and in writing on the questions you formulated. Make additional flash flashcards if necessary. For the weekend, using the text and notebook, make a table of contents. List all the topics and subtopics you need to know from the chapter. From the table of contents, make a study sheet, a spatial map. Recite the information orally and in your own words as you put the study sheet map together. The SQ3R reading method is an effective system to help you get the most out of your reading. Remember, survey, question, read, recite, and review.